Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones Day Trade Setups for today. So um, we had a lot of uh, noise in the market yesterday, quite a bit of data. We also had uh, some heavy hitters uh, from an earnings perspective. So uh, uh, it was Amazon, Apple, and Google all coming out. Um, wasn't a great set of results from them, but the market reacted positively. So there's obviously some some other noise inside the the results that everybody responded to. Um, so I can't remember which one it was, but I think Google. Oh, it's Google and uh, Google and Amazon were both up like seven percent. So anyway, um, for what we're looking at at the moment on the Dow Jones, we're still very much in this triangle. We kind of uh, rejected the top. And you can see that's on the daily that we're looking at. Then we've got a little hanging man here, and then we've got another thing. So we are sideways right now. There's nothing really indicating that we are going anywhere. If you look at the eight hour, you can see it's just big up and big down. Oscillator's not giving us any direction. The only thing that uh, is bullish is really the moving averages, which are pointing up. So as you've been through the time frames, you'll see uh, inside the bigger triangle, there is a another triangle forming there and that is looking like a flat top triangle for anticipating a break to the upside but look at the tails here tails to the upside tails to the downside that is sideways it is not really conducive to a decent setup at the moment so and when you drill down the hour it just becomes clearer that you need to stay away from this so um, I am pretty much staying away from this there are a few things that I will be paying attention to uh, as I look at the charts through the day, and uh, this level of support is the first thing. So if we start dropping below 33.830, then um, you've got some gaps to the downside that I think you would be wise to be chasing. So the, that would kind of be my first scenario would be here. Uh, if we start breaking above 34.135, I suspect we will knock our head against this trend line if we come back and find support here, there may be an opportunity for you know, to take the trade, anticipating a break of the trend line to the upside. But um, nevertheless, it's just there's more data coming out today. There's non-farm payrolls today. So probably wise just to wait for non-farm payrolls and just see what catalyst that is going to bring. Um, if you look at the 15 minutes, big up, big down, big up, big down, uh, in amongst the moving averages, no structure at all. Uh, any good thing has these gaps not all the gaps there's gaps to the downside here that are still open but um, the other gaps here in the middle will close but this kind of price action is not tradable um, I don't care who you are uh, you may get a few little moves up and down and uh, claim that you're making a ton of money but I guarantee you won't be making as much money as when it's in a trend so um, that's my view today I'm sitting on the sidelines I'm not going to try and second guess this uh, we could get a break Either way, but there is um, resistance above us and there's support below us. So what all it could be is just widen the, the range. So um, this one for me is a sit on hand. So we will sit quietly together with the Forex market and just wait. Anyway, that's it for me today. I hope it helps and uh, we will catch up with you on Monday. Enjoy your weekend.